Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the beloved Son, in whom the Father was well pleased. Come, let us worship Christ, the beloved Son, in whom the Father was well pleased. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, the beloved Son, in whom the Father was well pleased. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship Christ, the beloved Son, in whom the Father was well pleased. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, the beloved Son, in whom the Father was well pleased. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, the beloved Son, in whom the Father was well pleased. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, the beloved Son, in whom the Father was well pleased. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the beloved Son, in whom the Father was well pleased. The soldier baptizes his king, the servant his lord, John his savior. The waters of the Jordan tremble. A dove hovers as a sign of witness, and the voice of the Father is heard. This is my son. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsty, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life, in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as in a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Springs of water were made holy as Christ revealed his glory to the world. Draw water from the fountain of the Savior, for Christ, our God, has hallowed all creation. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. 
Lightnings and clouds bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth bless the Lord. You springs bless the Lord. Seas and rivers bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures bless the Lord. All you birds of the air bless the Lord. All you beasts wild and tame bless the Lord. You sons of men bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. You burnt away man's guilt by fire and the Holy Spirit. He give pra we give praise to you, our God and Redeemer. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved son. Grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring, he shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement, and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due His name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord will bless His people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord over fast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty, the voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord will bless His people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and in His temple all say glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. 
The Lord is enthroned as King forever. The Lord will bless His people with peace. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears Him and acts uprightly is acceptable to Him. You know the word that He sent to the Israelites as He proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me. Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came out from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning and welcome po sa inyong lahat. Nung kami po ay lumalaki at hindi pa namin kayang we're small kids, uh, si nanay, ang nanay po namin or yung mga nakakatandang mga babae sa familia ay nagpapaligo ng mga bata. At naalala ko, meron silang dasal na sinasabi three times bago magbuhos ng tubig. Hindi ko alam sapagkat sa katalogan, katagalogan ho yata ginagawa ito. Bago magbuhos ng tubig, sasabi nila, Jesus Maria Jose, uh, lumayo ang sakit, sumama sa tubig, Diyos ang lumapit. It reminded me of uh, the baptism of the Lord. At saka yung akin ding sariling baptism when I was growing up, naiiba po kasi yung aking pagbibinyag sapagkat I already knew what was happening around me. I was baptized, I think. Uh, when I was seven years old before I entered kindergarten. At ang mga kasama ko noon sa San Miguel Church ay mga bata. Malaki na ho ako noon, kaya alam ko kung ano nangyayari. It was weird, a weird experience sapagkat bakit ako nandito, parang out of place. Malaki na ho kasi ako. So ay, yung ninong ko hindi ako pwedeng ilagay doon sa baptismal font. Ah... Uh, Meron pa hong mga ritual noon na may kandila, hahawakan mo yung kandila, papatikimin ka ng asin, etc. But that has evolved already. Iba na ho yung ating baptismal ritual ngayon. So, in other words, uh, 
Ang pagbibinyag na ating nabasa sa Ibanghelyong ito ay uh, is again different. Why? Makikita natin kasi yung reticence ng, ni John the Baptist. Nagtataka siya, bakit ako ang magbabaptay sa iyo? Ikaw dapat ang magbabaptay sa akin, di ba? What did the Lord say? Uh, allow it now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Parang alam niya that is the will of God, of his father for him. So parang it was not enough for him to become one like us, a human being, to assume our humanity. It was part of his self-emptying o tinatawag nating kinosis. So kailangan makiisa siya sa atin kahit na siya ay walang kasalanan, walang bahid ng kasalanan. Ipinapakita niya sa mga tao na he is indeed one with us even in the baptism of repentance that uh, John was performing. So in other words, uh, well, the early church had a difficulty in explaining to the people bakit, bakit nagpabaptize ang Panginoon. E di ba sinless nga siya, wala siyang kasalanan. So he did not need that baptism. Pero yung theology kasi of kenosis or self-emptying of the Lord was not yet developed. Kaya ipinakita niya by example. And uh, in our time, the year 2000 dito sa ating 2022, tutuloy pa rin ang uh, pag-develop at pag-evolve ng theology na yan. At uh, siguro na iba ang ating uh, pagtingin ngayon sapagkat medyo naiintindihan na natin kung ano ang ginawa ng Panginoon para sa atin, di ba? He assumed our humanity in order for us to uh, get on with our lives without division, without exclusivity. In other words, when Jesus was baptized, sinasabi niya, hindi na yun ang status ng tao, us and them. Yung may ibang tao, di ba? Hindi naman lahat ay naniniwala sa kanya. But, ang kanyang pagpunta dito sa mundo, ang kanyang pagpapakita ng kanyang self-emptying, ang kanyang pagpapakita ng uh, pakikiisa sa baptism of repentance ni, ni John the Baptist is a way of telling us that wala ng mga barriers, wala ng mga divisions. But again, it takes effort for us human beings uh, nagawin yon, di ba? Hindi na pwedeng sabihin natin uh, kami kami lang. Meron nga tayong mga millennials may sinasabi sana all. The Lord came and became one of us for all. Eh, that takes time to realize sa pagkat makikita natin even the Israelite people, the chosen people of God, akala nila sila lang ang masasave. Pero hindi na. Doon sa akin nakita at nasaksihang pagbabautismo sa Panginoon sa River Jordan, nawala ng lahat ang barriers na yan. We have become adopted children of God. So wala ng Gentile, sabi nga ni Paul sa kanyang uh, mga tagasunod sa Galatia, sa Galatia, there's no more Greek or Jew, no female or male, no, wala ng circumcised and uncircumcised. We are all one in the family of God. So perhaps we can also recall our own baptisms. Uh, ano bang ibig sabihin yan? Merong isang storya. I will tell you an anecdote. The story of a drunk man, Lasing. Doon kasi sa United States, meron silang tinatawag na baptism of immersion. Kung saan ang mga tao ay inilulubog ng buo sa tubig. Kaso may isang Lasing, nakita niya may pila. Mga tao ay inilulubog sa tubig. So, nakipila din siya at tumab tumabi siya doon sa uh, Baptist na preacher. Sabi niya, uh, sabi ng preacher sa kanya, Mister, are you ready to find Jesus? Siyempre, lasing siya. The drunk looked back and said, Yes, preacher, I am sure. The minister then, you know, immersed him under the water and pulled him right back. At tinanong siya, Have you found Jesus? The preacher asked, No, I haven't. Medyo natauhan na siya. So the preacher again immersed him under the water. Mas mahabang oras. Brought him up 
and ask, Now, brother, have you found Jesus? Siyempre, sabi niya ulit, No, I haven't, preacher. Medyo nawawala na ng pasensya yung preacher. Nilubog siya ulit. 30 seconds, mas mahaba. Inangat siya ulit at sabi, Have you found Jesus? Eh, siyempre, bupungas-pungas na yung lasing. He was uh, gasping for breath. Tinanong siya nung lasing na tao, No, preacher. Sigurado ka ba na dito nahulog si Jesus doon sa sa, dag, sa ilog na yun? In other words, it may be a funny story, but what it is telling us is that baptism is not where we find Jesus. It is what we do once we have found Jesus. We now stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Let us now approach the Father who fulfilled His promise in sending us His Son to bring God's kingdom here on earth. For each intention we are going to say, Father of light, shine on us. Father of light, shine on us that the Holy Father, the bishops, and the clergy may proclaim in words and deeds the presence of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of light, shine on us. That government leaders may shed light to people living in darkness by their faithful service to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of light, shine on us. That we may welcome God's presence in our midst by loving and forgiving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of light, shine on us. That the message of God's love may continue to permit in the lives of the poor and the sick, despite the sufferings they are going through. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of light, shine on us. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Father of, Father of light, light, shine on us. For the Master of the Order and His assistants, and for our brothers in ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of light, light, shine on us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions, Let us pray to the Lord. Father of light, shine on us. That the faithful departed may find their eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of light, shine on us. God our Father, the coming of your Son gave us light and hope. Make us instruments in letting that light 
shine on others through our words and deeds. And we ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask. Please stand. Let us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Pinapalam na paririto sa nala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitasan. O sana, o sana, o sana sa kaitasan. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Sa kruso at pagkabuhay, kami natubos mong tunay. O Jesus, naming mahal, iligtas mo kami itanay. O Jesus, naming mahal, ngayon at magpakailanman. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Bigyan mo po kami ngayon ng aming kakain sa araw-araw at patawain mo kami sa aming mga sa Oh. 
Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace. Please kneel. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ang inyong dalawang kamay ang ostia at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang ostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng ostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
Christ is baptized. The world is made holy. He has taken away our sins. We shall be purified by water and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ, Christ is baptized, the, Christ, the world is made holy. He has, he has taken, taken away our sins. We shall be purified by water and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, brothers and sisters, thank you very much for joining us in this Eucharistic celebration. Sana po ay pagpatuloy natin ipagdasal ang isa't isa. Um, continue to pray for us and the work that has been given to us here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. At makakaasa din po kayo na palagi naming uh, kasali sa aming mga panalangin ang inyo ring mga sariling petition at mga intentions. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Holy Eucharist. We go in peace to glorify the Lord with Thanks. our lives. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection, of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed. And for those who will use them, be made holy too. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.